Welcome to the Sales Navigator Live Show with Stan and Bryn. Join LinkedIn expert and sales professional Bryn Tillman and me, Stan Robinson Jr., Chief Coaching Officer here at Social Sales Link, as we bring you the best tips and strategies for leveraging Sales Navigator for your sales success. Enjoy the show. Hello, Bryn. Hello, Stan. How are you? Awesome. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Yes, it is. It's beautiful for sure. It's a great summer day. Yes, indeed. So today we're going to be talking about uh, triggers, specifically seven ways to leverage sales navigators triggers to start conversations. Now, there are a lot more than seven available triggers, but we're we're going to focus on uh, just seven of them today. And as always, we talk about the fact that Sales Navigator is designed to help you find the right people, gather business intelligence about them, and alert you to potential opportunities to start sales conversations. Yeah. I- which is why it's absolutely. And I love that you use the word triggers because that's a perfect way to think about this, right? It's, you know, they, something happens and it triggers us to create an engagement to start a conversation. And, you know, that is ultimately what we want, especially if we're using sales navigator for business development, we want to start conversations. I can't tell you how many of our clients come to us initially and they, you know, they basically say, okay, I see this, this happened. They liked something. They engaged on something. They share. Now what? So we're going to talk about the now what today. That's pretty cool. Exactly. And for all of you who, who are watching, as you probably know, we're not both Stan Robinson Jr. That's me. And Yep. Oh, that's we, so funny. <laughs> we we love technology. Yeah, so we're twins today, and I'm here with my twin. I'll take it. Brent. If I'm going to be mistaken for someone, <laughs> better, <laughs> best to be you, my friend. That's funny. I just noticed that. So good. So we're gonna we're gonna jump into first with uh, with accounts, and what we're gonna be talking about are the alert features both under accounts and under leads. Um, so we're going to start with accounts because accounts are companies. There are always different things going on, whether companies are in the news or they're funding events or they're growing or they're shrinking, whatever the case may be. One of the alerts that you get right on your home page, you just have to click on account alerts hit the drop down, you'll see news. So if an account has been in the news, hopefully for good mm-hmm. reasons, uh, you'll, you'll see. It. <laughs> yes, it's a little bit hard to start a conversation around around some of the other reasons. But if an account is, um, is growing, it has acquired another company, has done something good in the social sphere, whatever the case may be, that is a good opportunity Mm -hmm. for you to reach out to your connections at that account, basically to congratulate them on what their company is doing. And so that's one opportunity to start conversations. Bryn, any thoughts just on good news? Yeah, well, (laughs) so I also first want to share that, you know, in Sales Navigator, when you save accounts or you save leads in their accounts, you are fed that information into your homepage and you can filter that information. And that's one of the things about Sales Navigator that's really powerful is it's not a very noisy newsfeed. About 90% of what you're seeing is content that you requested because you saved an account or saved a lead. 
So that's really very important when you're thinking about using Sales Navigator. We're now talking about accounts, right? These are the companies we've saved and here's the good news. So how do we do this? We have this good news. We click on accounts. Maybe we find out like often it's a press release. They, you know, they emerged, they bought a company. Sometimes they brought on a new CEO, whatever it is. Often this good news, you know, is comes through and you go, mm, now what? Well, it's pretty simple. Grab that good news. Go to the original source. You will be able to link through it in Sales Navigator to wherever that source was. And I think I'm probably jumping ahead to in the news too. Like I'm kind of doing both, but I don't mean to do that. I realize as I'm talking, I'm sort of overlapping too. But let's say the press release goes to their website. Let's do that. So we want to start with the website or, and, and we want to grab that link and send the link back to your prospect. So let's say you're going after a big company. There's a good chance they're not aware of the, you know, this piece, the, the, this update, this good news that has come through. Um, and I'm wondering if I'm, I, I hope I'm not overlapping too. You'll stop me. No, you're good because, yeah, because we're on news now. So you're oh, right good. on. Point. I yep. love when I'm paying attention. All right. So, so what, even if, so if it's a third party piece of news, maybe they won an award. Most people inside the company are unaware of the big things that are happening inside. When I started in sales, we didn't have these news features come in. We literally, I got the Philadelphia a business journal and I'd go through it and cut out articles and stick posty notes with my business card, congratulating them on whatever happened in the news. Well, now we're going to do this digitally. We're going to grab that link and I'll say, Stan, I'm not sure if you're aware of this award that your company just won. Often in companies the size of yours, you can miss the good news, but I thought I'd share it with you. Um, you know, and, and so, you know, I hope, hope you find it helpful. People are blown away that you took the time to do this, right? So we're using that to start a conversation without being salesy. It's about them. Yep, exactly. And I'm so glad that you talked at the beginning about the fact that all of this these alerts are driven by the accounts and we'll be talking about leads next that you have mm -hmm. saved. So one thing that's super easy to forget to do is if you are working with existing accounts, please remember to save your existing accounts. Don't just save mm -hmm. new ones that you find when you're prospecting, save all of your clients as well as your prospects. And if you're, you know, if you're working with channel partners or any other types of partners, save those as well. Good idea to put them in different lists. We'll talk about that at another time. But thanks for the reminder to everybody, Brent, that everything's driven by what you saved. So don't forget about your existing business. I love business. that. Perfect. What's next? So next, growth. Mm -hmm. Now, not everybody's growing, but, but when companies are increasing in terms of headcount, because LinkedIn has a great deal of information on headcount and these types of things. Sales Navigator has an alert about this company has increased headcount. Um, there's a converse alert about this company, unfortunately, has decreased headcount. But either one of those can lead to opportunities for you. So if a company is growing, there may be opportunities for you to help them as part of their growth efforts. Bren, I you see that triggers yeah, oh, something. Everything triggers something, right? No pun intended. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I love this. Okay, so, you know, if, what do we do? They're growing. So what does this trigger mean to me? Well, think about your solution. How does your solution help a growing company? And by the way, I know we're, once we see that, we could actually hop in to sales navigator inside of the account, look down and say, what department is growing? Like we can drill down. 
So the trigger that they're growing or they're shrinking can lead us to doing a deeper dive into what's going on inside of that company. So we that may not be enough information for us to immediately reach out, but it's enough information that we know there's movement. So how do we use this information? If they're growing, do they need more training? If they do they need more telephones? Do they need more computers? Do they need more office space? Like what's happening that will trigger and align with what you do? Now, the key here is to figure out some of these triggers and the value and then create some kind of evergreen content something that you can use to start a conversation. So five, um, you know, f- uh, let, let's think of something. If um, uh, five questions to ask your new remote employees to ensure your cybersecurity is X, right? Like th- whatever it is that you do. So that you start a conversation around that trigger. Um, and you can have a lot of different pieces I'm a big fan of having content in a in a smart link hub. We'll talk about that at another time too. But so that we know who's looking at this, but we can start a conversation around, "Hey Stan, noticed you guys are hiring pretty quickly. Uh you know, I'm not sure if you know, they're mostly remote. It looks like some of them are, but if you're interested, I have a checklist to ensure that they're onboarded in a cybersecurity safe, you know, if you're an MSP or whatever that is, right? Like whatever you are doing. Mm-hmm. Shrinking, think about how you can help them there too, right? Are they shrinking, losing employees? Why? What's going on in the industry? And how can what you do supplement that? So let's say you're a marketing company and they just laid off all those marketers. Well, they still need marketing. Maybe it's worth outsourcing, No, you know. Right. So just bridge what you do to the trigger and then provide real value to them so that you've got them thinking differently about their current situation. And you're creating a compelling moment that can create a conversation, start a conversation. Yep. Great. Thank you. Bryn, let me know what you think of this as well. When uh, you're looking at content to create, the content doesn't necessarily always have to point back to your solution. If it can be content that just helps them do their job better, makes them look good without necessarily saying, hey, right. use us, but it's direct value to them. There you're also providing them with value, building relationships, positioning yourself as a resource. hundred percent. Just make sure your contact information is there, <laughs> but that's it, right? Like, like in the footer, it doesn't matter, but that's right. Make sure they know that you're the one that provided them that value, but a hundred percent, you know, we need to show up as a resource. We need to be a value and a value does not mean we're selling our stuff. So that's a, you know, that's a perfect way to think about this. Very good. All righty. New decision makers. There's also an account alert for new decision makers when there are changes and with changes come opportunities. So new decision makers, when they come in, they normally come in with some type of mandate. At a minimum, they're trying to prove themselves and make sure that their management knows that they made a good decision by bringing them on or promoting them or whatever the case may be. So how should we use new decision makers when sales nav says, hey, these are some new decision makers at your company? So I really love that question. And I think um, to your point, they're brought in to make a difference, right? They're brought in to make an impact. And they're much more likely to be open to new ideas that can help them succeed in that role. So, you know, I keep going back to content. Content really does matter, but it doesn't always have to be original. I mean, it's great when you have some, Mm -hmm. but let's say you've got a new CMO 
at a company that you want to engage with, you can go find, hop onto HubSpot and find, you know, 10 things new CMOs need to do in their first 90 days. I, I don't know that they have something, but there's a ton of, that's out there and you can just congratulate them on the new role and say, hey, I don't know if you're interested, but there's a really great HubSpot article on, you know, what to do in your first 90 days. If you're interested, let me know. I'm happy to send over a link. You've now provided value that, to your point, Stan, in that case, your name isn't really on it, but you've provided value to them that has nothing to do with your solution. And it, they really feel like they matter, right? That's mm -hmm. value. Mm -hmm. That You know, they're... I think it's really important that we slow down our outreach to speed up our conversations, <laughs> right? Like I, I do. So yes. I love that. And I think um, that new career decision maker change is great. Make sure though, that you are sharing content that they care about, not content you want to share. There's a difference that you want them to know. Mm -hmm. And I just thought of something that, I think could be very powerful is find out the company's clients. You could probably look on their website and see some of their best client logos and see who they help yeah. and who they serve and maybe even find content about trends that are happening in their clients' industries. Clients. Right now you've really gone one step deeper. And if they're new to the company, they may have great experience as a CMO, but maybe not necessarily in this tiny niche of the new company. So if you can provide them some value around understanding their client, oh my gosh, what an impact you can have. Wow. Yep. That is awesome. That's, that's like a triple win. Cool. Both for you, for them and for their client, because they can use that to add value yeah. to their client. Love it. Good deal. Okay, we're going to shift gears and move over to leads okay. next. And there are lots of different filters associated with leads. One of them is engagement. Just letting you know when someone's looked at your profile or message, you are otherwise engaged with you. And so... Again, those are driven by the leads that you have saved. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you save, you save your accounts, your prospects, et cetera. So engagement, say someone's looked at your profile because sometimes it's hard to mm -hmm. keep up with. And what Sales Navigator does is it says, hey, take a look here or just by putting things right in front of you in alerts. So any any thoughts just on lead engagement? You know, yeah, so lead engagement is interesting. And I am not 100% on everything that it pulls up, but if they view your profile, if they visit your company page, if they engage on content that your company put out there, you will get notified. And this trigger is, you know, really about you being on their radar. Your company is on their radar, right? So are they shopping right now? Um, it's such an, it's such a very, it's a powerful, especially if you're in a big company, it's a very powerful mm -hmm. tool that there's almost no way you could know this any other way. Marketing might understand a little bit of what's going on, but if you have a lead that's saved and you notice that they went and followed your company page, that's a hot opportunity to start a conversation. Now, are they in the market or are they just exploring? It doesn't matter. When you reach out to them, they already know who your company is. So I think that that's a big one. You're not going to see a ton of activity in that one, but it is really a wonderful, uh, a wonderful alert that when you do see it, you need to jump on it. Now the question comes, well, what do I do? Do I say, hey, I noticed you followed my company page. Yes, it's okay. It's social media. People are like, oh, well, does that mean that I'm spamming them? They followed your page. So you could actually reach out. Exactly. Stan, I noticed you followed our company page. I took a look at your profile 
you know, and it looks like, you know, we have three or four shared connections and you've got some really great content. You know, I'd love to answer any questions that you might have. Um, can I ask what brought you to our company page today? Right? Ask that question. What brought you there? I, I think it's a good opportunity to have that conversation. So true, because lots of these people will not contact you otherwise. They're doing their mm -hmm. research. They're looking at different places, but they will not reach out to you. So the fact that Sales Navigator shows you who's doing that mm -hmm. type of research, as Bryn mentioned, especially if you're a large company, you would not know otherwise. So good opportunity to jump on those and start a relationship. Another alert that sounds familiar, but is slightly different when it's applied to leads is career mm -hmm. changes. So for accounts, you know, new decision makers, usually it's someone that that has come in, say, from the outside or something like that. But when it comes to career changes, a lot of times those are promotions. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes people leaving one company to go to mm -hmm. another or maybe one of your champions at one company leaves and goes to another company. So Bren, when you see, say that, for example, your, your champion, the person that brought you into XYZ company, all of a sudden they leave and they're in a new position, probably at a higher level at another company. What do you do in a case? So there's like two that? opportunities, right? There's the opportunity that opened up in the company they left and there's the new opportunity. So the new opportunity, obviously we want to go out and provide value to the champion. I want to get inside scoop from the champion too. Did it, who's taking over? Do they know? Is it an internal promotion? So I want to, I want to get into the new company but I actually would start the conversation with, can you ha help me navigate the old company, right? I'm just starting this up. You know, who should I talk to? Can I mention your name? Do you still have a good relationship with them? Um, you know, do, you, do what is your feeling? Do you think this is still an open opportunity or do you think it's not? They'll give you way more information after they leave than they will when they're there, right? Because they're you know, they're not holding tight to a budget. You can find out about budget constraints. How do they make their decision? You can learn a lot about the old company, but there's now this opportunity in the new company as well. Um, but a lot of this, if this is your champion, then likely you've had many conversations with them before or a few at least. Um, so they know what you do. They know, and, and you can say, look, I, I, you know, I don't know what your goals are, for this new organization, but if there's anything I can do to support you, please let me know. No pressure. You don't have, you know, we don't have to do business, um, but I'd really love to help you succeed here. I'm going to tell a quick story. Um, Daryl Prail was at Vanilla Soft, which, and absolutely adore, adore, adore him, uh, but he never bought at Vanilla Soft. He was my champion. We, you know, we were on podcasts and we've done things together and lots of things together. And then he moved to Agora Pulse. And within a week, Agora Pulse was my new client. It was the right time, the right place, Whoa. the right conversation, right? And, and it, because I nurtured and reached out immediately, he's like, you know what? We should talk. But he was brought in to make an impact. So it was awesome, mm. but that was a perfect example of, I saw the new change in sales navigator and I reached out and the timing was right. A lot of this is timing, but you've got to nurture and continue to bring value and detach from what the prospect is worth to you and attach to what you are worth to the prospect. So when you do that, um, you know, when the time is right, the sale will happen. It just will. Yep. Yep. And you just have to, you just have to be there. So as Bryn said, the, one of the things when people move, I'll bet, did, 
Did Daryl reach out to you and say, hey, Bryn, I'm moving? No, I saw it on LinkedIn it? and I reached out and I'm like, I, and I think I said something goofy. Oh, I might have sent a video message, but I'm like, I don't want to be just another congrats on your page, right? Like I have to, I think I sent a little video message. And then he just said, we should talk. And then I don't even know, he copied me in an email with Lisa, right? Like, and I worked with Lisa and like, it was done like that. It was amazing. Um, so, you know, that's, that's why this is important. And he was my champion, not my client yet, but my champion, right? The person I had that relationship with internally. Um, you know, and, and what, you know, and what you can do in this case, I didn't, and maybe we should now, but go back to the other, who took over Daryl's position? Who do I need to nurture now over at Vanilla Soft? If you're listening, call me, no, right? <laughs> but ultimately like that, you know, that's the way we need to think of things, I think. Yep, absolutely. Thank you. So a couple of things. I hope you're picking up nuggets and these are topics we'll be talking about in the future, different channels of communication. Because Bryn for, said, for example, uh, I didn't just, you know, put a like or a clap hands. I sent a mm -hmm. video message which I guarantee you, if he got one other video message from anybody else, mm -hmm. I'd be surprised. Mm -hmm. So right there, it's a way that you can stand mm -hmm. out. And the other thing is that when people move, most times they are not going to tell you, but Sales Navigator will tell I love you. it. So that's why, you, that's why this tool is wonderful. We're gonna wrap up with um, shares and news. Um, Lead shares when leads actually share content on LinkedIn. It's another opportunity for, for you to join the conversation to support what they're mm -hmm. sharing. Because when you add to the conversation um, in a non-promotional way, I'm sure I don't have to say that to this audience, but when you jump into something that they've posted, that, that is not the place to promote yourself. It's the place to add to the conversation. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, it's interesting. You know, these folks are sharing because they want engagement. So a couple of quick things. You're going to click a view, right? You're going to see view. And it, it Sales Navigator is going to give you this pop-up where you can go down, like, and comment. There is no typical share button or repost from this view. So from this view, you're going to click on like. Now, don't just do a thumbs up. If it's inspiring or you learn something, do the light bulb. So if it's a celebration, clap. If it's funny, you can laugh as long as it's not laughing at them. Uh, but, you know, leverage the other, um, the other reactions because you'll stand out. Uh, and actually, the algorithm says actually comment first and then react. But don't just say great post or thanks for the post or, you know, look at it, read it. Worst case, grab a quote from it and say, love this and have the whole quote that you love from it. Or great quote by the, the, the author of the post, right? Don't just have some substance to it. Take the time to really engage. If you choose to um go deeper into that content you're going to want to click out into the mothership engage beyond um sales navigator if you want to do some other things on that so just keep that in mind as you're going through you you have some limited functionality when you're engaging from sales navigator which is kind of disappointing but it is what it is. Um, you can also X things out of your newsfeed as you've you done, as you've engaged, so you don't have to see them anymore. But one of my favorite things is I may on a Sunday night just be scrolling through and maybe even on mobile and I bookmark. So maybe I'm not in a place mm. to engage right now, but when I get on my computer Monday morning, I want to. And so there's a little bookmark that you go through and say, oh, uh, Larry Levine, I want to bookmark this for later. 
um, you know, oh, Stan Robinson, I want to bookmark this for later so that you can come back. So you don't have to feel overwhelmed or that you're going to miss things. Just bookmark them and then X them out. Uh, like, so it leaves the news feed. Yeah. Yep. Thanks. So two great features just to make you more productive, make your life easier, because I think we've probably all been standing in a grocery line or something scrolling through uh, because the person on the express line has 30 items and we've got some time on our hands. So bookmark, wonderful feature. Yep. And the last one, we kind of touched on this, but it's news as it applies to leads. And you know, people aren't often going to be mentioned in the news, but if they are, and again, it's good news, it's a wonderful opportunity to congratulate them and just to reach Yeah, out. I love that. And I, I'm going to emphasize, and you've said this a lot, I, I think eight or 10 years ago, when I was in a congratulate, congratulate, congratulate mode, I did congratulate a company for a bankruptcy. They were in the news, not a good thing. So it is really important that you look at it and, and you can do, if they are a first degree connection, they may not be because we might save them, but if they're a first degree connection, just open up your phone and send a congratulations video will make all the difference in the world. If you want to create a loom video with their image in the back, like the image of the post or the. You can do that, right? Hey, I was scrolling through and I saw this. Congratulations. Just so many ways that you can make this personal. Yep, absolutely. Thank you. Well, we're at the top of the hour. As always, this, this time goes by super fast. Yep. So I hope. Those of you who are with us live found value and those who are watching the replay as well. And yep, or listening. Yes, thank you. Yep. So do let us know what you'd like us to be talking about in the future. As you can tell, we have we have some ideas, but we're always looking for additional feedback. So, Brent, until next week. Jeez. Have a wonderful sales navigator week. Yay! <laughs> yes. Thanks. Thanks for listening. And join us again for more insights on Sales Navigator and social selling strategies that will differentiate you from your competitors and accelerate your sales success. In the meantime, you can go to socialsaleslink.com forward slash library for free content on LinkedIn, Sales Navigator, and social selling.